So I'm going to put a problem on the board, and we're going to do some equivalent. We're also going to do some comparing in a minute. So I'm going to give you an equivalent, and with your partner, you're going to tell me. So if I have 5, 6, <coughs> get me an equivalent. Oh. Yeah, get me, make me an equivalent fraction for 5, 6 <coughs> with your team. I know we didn't cut them off, so it's all right. You might cut or put them on top of each other. Oh, we could do it with the close guys. Yeah, we should multiply by 2. 67 and 2.
share, Kyla, share one fact with me. From your um, group. Or one fraction that's equivalent to three eighths. Three eighths. We did six sixteenths. <coughs> six sixteenths. Did anybody get a different one? Um, Aaron and Ethan? Nine twenty fourths. How did you get nine twenty fourths? Times three. All right. Did any mm -hmm. other groups? Get a different one. Ben, Ben and Ben, did you guys get a different one? Uh, we got 2156. Oh my goodness, 20. Hang on. Three, eight. Seven. What do you multiply both things by? Again? Seven. Seven. And then you got 2156. That's a big one. I'm glad we don't have to do a fraction strip with that one. Those would be teeny tiny. Or we'd have to make a great big paper. <coughs> 